Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at five free-to-play horror games. So you can get them off Steam. You know, watch the trailer. I played all these games. I played the short ones, I think, to completion. At least two of them. So I think they're worth checking out for free. It's Halloween. Something to do. Got the theme going. So, let's check them out. All right, the first game on the list, A Place Forbidden. This list is in no particular order of good or bad or good too bad. It's just a list of five free games. So A Place Forbidden is a first-person, lo-fi, horror puzzle game set in the library of Auroboros, a seemingly innocuous library that rumor has it contains knowledge not meant for the eyes of a mortal man. We hope you enjoy your visit. That's your little blurb. It came out in 2020 in June. That developer is a team forbidden. I uh, didn't look at the play, made any other games, but again, it's free on Steam. Uh, your standard uh, kind of stuff, just in a lo-fi setting. Go look for clues to open up the next door or progress, and then you have some uh, odd-looking stuff there. It's all random hole on the floor. I haven't played too much of this. Uh, this is probably the one I've played the least of so far, but I do plan on going back to it. Uh, I did think it looked pretty good. Uh, I think it got pretty decent reviews as well. And the price is right, so it's free. I think it's worth checking out. A place forbidden. All right, next up is this pretty cool little game. Uh, I liked it a lot. It's very short. Uh, it's cool content for this little content that's in the game. It's called Dinner with an Owl. So, a little blurb here. It's made by uh, Boring Suburban Dad, and publisher is the same name. Uh, break the puzzling spell of your eccentric host, Dinner with an Owl, a short, surreal, point-and-click adventure. And that's exactly what it is, with a little bit of a, a dark theme on top of it. Very good comedy horror adventure. I liked it a lot. So you should check it out. It's very short. Fun. Next up is Nightmare Protocol. Uh, developer is Giancarlo Gioelli. Publisher is Nexima Games. Came out August 25th of 2020. Uh, the blurb here is, take control of Azel, a young magician who is now forced to survive against the host, host demons inside an artificially constructed reality. Experience a unique blend between 3D dark fantasy environment and 2D hand-drawn horrors. Learn new spells and hone your reflexes to survive. Hey, That's some good voiceovers, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it was basically point and click to move around. You see those little circles on the ground there. That tells you where to go or where you can go to get more information. And then you've got to go into, like... When you explore, you get to another room, and then the, the enemies will attack. You'll learn, like, certain spells, and then you'll use what you learned, like, each time. And the difficulty kind of increases as you go. Like, you know, the first time, you just shoot some spiders. And the next time, it might be, like, a, a shadow monster you have to deal with. Along with, like, dealing with um, f freezing, I think, it comes into play. So, it's not a bad game at all. It looks pretty good. Uh, plays just fine. So again, this is Nightmare Protocol. Uh, back off. This is my no, Here we have Craven Manor. Came out in 2014, so a little bit older than the other games. Uh, by Demon Wagon Studios, you see here. Uh, more of like an older, kind of standard horror game. First person perspective. Go around the manor, trying to find different clues. You know, creepy things like that. <laughs> so it does a good job of the horror genre, I think, especially for a free game. Now the blurb here is turn out the lights, take a deep breath, and prepare yourself. Explore the depths of the immersive, atmospheric world of Craven Manor. Uncover its secrets, solve the mystical puzzles, and face its growing threat. Face your fears and see if you have what it takes. The doors of Craven Manor await you. I liked it. It's definitely... Um, the right price for, for, for a game. You have this table here, you're gonna find pieces, it's kinda like a map, you're gonna put together the piece on the table, it should unlock something else, and you're gonna do your your horror-like Resident Evil-esque puzzles. But there's also things that are gonna chase you, and they'll escalate pretty quickly. I probably wouldn't say best horror game ever, but <laughs> a good, a very good horror game. 
for free, that's for sure. This is Craven Manor. This last game we're going to take a look at is My Friend is a Raven. It's a very short game. Uh, it's more just a grim kind of setting. Uh, you have to play through it multiple times to get a couple different endings depending on the choices you make. So I played through it, I think, three or four times. I've only unlocked two endings, but it does make you want to see the rest of the endings. It's pretty good. It's very, very short. Um, came out in 2019 by Two Star Games as a developer and publisher. Got positive reviews. The blurb here is you turn to your old apartment one last time in search of a sickened raven. You must speak to him and discover the cause behind the calamity that has spread across the world. So there you have it, five free horror scary themed games for uh, October, Halloween month. Thanks for watching Blar. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.